Hello people at the house of the internet. Today I'm just going to say about this new thing the government of Ireland should do and and I kind of going to take it on in our town which I live in, our village more or less to say. We'll try and do, try and do this. So basically the plan is we must clean our country because our country's in an awful state with rubbish lying everywhere in our towns and our villages and our fields and our lakes and everything. It's just literally just, it's like just absolutely rubbish just in every part of the country. And it the rubbish does I don't know what people achieve by throwing rubbish out of their cars if they go to McDonald's or go to KFC. I don't know what they achieve. Because uh, people have to go out and clean it after them, to be honest. It just, if it brings wet, it, it, uh, it, if it's food, it smells if the boards around it gets out. If there's dogs around, it's just spread around the whole place, then there's diseases and everything. That's literally how flus and everything nearly starts to run or diseases and all that starts because the even if you live outside where the litter is it's going to just cut the smells just going to come in and give you some of the kind of disease or any kind of disease so it's just i'm only asking people and i suppose the government should try and promote this a bit like if you're on the bus in the city or if you're in the countryside and if you see just a wrapper i don't know a crisp wrapper just lift it up and find a bin i'm only asking you to pick up one thing just even one or two things. If you see just one thing on a, see you on the train and you're like, that should not be there. I might as well I pick it up and I look for a bin and I put it into it. You're doing your country very proud. You might not take it, but you're doing something good for the environment. Even if you pick up two bags of crisps. And everywhere, see if you walk out the door, even once a day, just pick up one thing. And that saves a lot of hassle. You might not take it, but it's not, it's not, rubbish does build up after a while. Like, if you keep throwing rubbish around the place, it's just going to build up in some place, and it's just going to be an almighty big amount of rubbish. Like, the thumbnail here is down in Wexford, and that's what happened. They, they, they didn't pick up stuff. There was papers and everything lying there, and then it just became the dumping ground, if you know what I'm saying. So, uh, I'm not asking you to pick up couches or cookers or anything. I'm only asking you to pick up tiny pieces. Like, uh, I understand don't pick up nappies. Unless you have gloves, unless you really want to pick up nappies, then... Go ahead, but just quit a pack of crisps, bockers, and I really hate the way I say bockers. <laughs> uh, uh, but you know, it's just I do it. I go out and pick up rubbish. I go out and pick about two bags of rubbish in a week, because uh, I I only do it. I do it voluntarily. I do it for my town and I do it for my country. That's the only thing I do it for. I don't do it for my pleasure or my to get a name for myself or the. Be tight. They don't. I never get tight for it. I never get tight for it. So I really don't. I don't want tights. I'm just doing it for my country because I could see when I was growing up. I, when I was growing up, or two, when I was when I was actually growing up, it was just when I was about five or six. The rubbish. I noticed when I was about five or six, there wasn't much rubbish on the roads. But when I got to seven or eight, I don't know what happened during them years, but the ridiculous amount of rubbish just lying everywhere. Just in them few years alone. And since then, it's always been bad in this country. But I'm only asking everybody. Pick up one piece of w w rubbish on the ground. Even if you see it on a train, even if you see it in the taxi, just be like, I have to pick that up. Uh, just be, find a bin. I'm not asking you to pick up the whole litter around the country. I'm only asking one person each day. Say if you go to school, a child. I'm even telling the children. Just, uh, if you see a pack of the crisps, and you're just like, oh, your friend's throwing litter. Just say to them, don't be doing that. Somebody else has to go pick it up after you, and you're just going to spread diseases. And it's just, it rubbish is generally not nice to have outside your house or have anywhere. And even looking at it, just there. So I literally, I picked up what, uh, what was it? It was five bags of chips or something. I don't know why, if I had to have somebody, yeah, five bags of chips. But they didn't even finish it. And it was just lying everywhere. And I had to pick up all the chips. And it was just there, it's disgusting. Then there was nappies in it, it's one of them too. And it was just there. I could have just got sick at that moment because it was just. It took me about 50, 50, nearly 15 minutes to clean up that alone. And it was just disgusting. It had to, and I had to carry it all the way back to a bin. And it was just disgusting. You could smell the nappy, you could smell the chips. Like they were just there. Fucking. It was just a mess. Just don't do it. If you're going to go to the takeaway and spend your hard on money, just find a bin. I know people get paid in the councils for doing it, but Jesus Christ, this country's in a mess with little. I'm not saying every town. I know there's some good towns that have a good committee. Well, I can say that my town, uh, our town has a good committee, but it's Bridge, but... It used to be more better years ago. Years ago, we won tiniest town five years in the world, which was ridiculous in Ireland, so... 
it was ridiculous for village. I don't know how we can't. The only reason why we can't do it nowadays is because two abandoned houses in our village, and we can't do anything because the bikes owner. Then that's it's not the rubbish because our people are very quick to pick up the rubbish. So yeah, I will go out later on to pick up rubbish today, even though it's fucking raining. But I still have the courage of cleaning the country and cleaning our village. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'm just asking everyone just to pick up one bottle, one bottle, bottle. You know what I'm saying? For one drink, fucking. Luke said buckle. Uh, fuck, uh, my cabin axe is getting worse. <laughs> anyway, take a watch, subscribe, more, and bye.